The red hydrogen one. Oh boy, that's this thing is actually really big. This thing actually flopped so hard, it made me buy a copy of Windows Vista just to have something more successful in my apartment. <laughs> but I bought one anyway, and maybe you should too. Let's talk about that. Like every other phone out there, this thing has a bunch of specs. Like a 5.7 LCD touchscreen. It better be really fucking good touch. Six gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, a fat battery, and one of those snappy boys. But isn't the Snapdragon 835 like from 2017 or something? Oh, you're right, toilet boy. You see, Red is very famous for the state-of-the-art, industry-leading cinema cameras. In fact, like over 50% of all the Netflix content was shot on Red cameras. And in 2017, they announced that they want to be a part of that smartphone game. I mean, what is your guess of the unique selling point of that phone? I guess a very lit camera. And I think it's not that easy to develop a smartphone from scratch if you don't have any experiences in this industry, even as a big company like Red. So when this phone finally came out after several delays in 2018, the specs I've just listed were already <laughs> slightly obsolete. But what about that camera? What about this thing Red is excellent with. Well, the camera turned out to be average at best. And if you combine all of that with a price tag of 1300 schmackles, people literally had no reason to buy that phone. So why, my dear viewer, should you consider, should you consider getting that Hydrogen One in 20, why? <laughs> to answer that question, what's the script? To answer that question, we have to find a new perspective. First, forget about the obsolete hardware on paper. Because that thing is quick. Listening to Miranda Cosgrove, answering very important mails, stalking a friend on Instagram who became self-employed and I'm totally not jelly at all. Checking stuff on YouTube, Netflix, and your face. I mean, this thing is quick. And you gotta let go. I, I know we all struggle with that, but you gotta let go of Red's unfulfilled promises of a cinema-grade camera. Because this camera is fine. It's far away from being really good, but for most cases, it's more than enough. You're into stupid TikToks? Well, this camera won't make you any dumber. Ah! You wanna take a picture of your cute cat? <laughs> Fucking meow you go. Ooh, but the dynamic ring! You shut your mouth, toilet boy. Stop seeing the Hydrogen One just as a failed and discontinued first-gen flagship. Because in contrast to Virgie's high-quality headlines, this thing is more than just a failed piece of overpriced garbage. I've been using this thing as my daily driver for a week now, and I can easily tell you the things I personally like about this phone but also the little quirks I don't. First and foremost, this thing is massive. Massive in its weight and size, but also so massively interesting to look at. In a time where everything is a glass sandwich with edge-to-edge -edge design and stupid little notches, you really just gotta appreciate Red's design language here. And guess what? I actually enjoy having stupid chins on my device. Now I can comfortably hold my phone in landscape, because having it comfy is the minimum requirement to watch Ang shredding Fireboy Ozai. Speaking of Ozai, the fingerprint scanner slash home button on the side is hot AF. No, seriously, I really love it. The placement is just perfect. It's 10 out of 10. And it's really responsive. Those buttons are very clicky. The almost stock Android experience is pretty smooth. Nothing really crashes, although once a day, my unit reboots entirely, and sometimes I get a little bit scared of that. Putting my phone into my pocket while using headphones just annoys the living crap out of me because of the headphone jack being located on the top of the phone. But at least there is one, I guess. And hey man, believe in whatever you want, I'm not trying to convert you to anything, okay? But I believe that this whole 3D gimmick is actually kind of fun. Oh, but how does it look like? I mean, there is no way to show it on camera, right? Go and try a Nintendo 3DS. It is the very same effect. So, behind its brand being famous for making high quality cinema cameras, and behind all the bad press, and behind all the hocus pocus this phone has to offer, the Red Hydrogen One is a proper mid-range phone. And with the right price tag, it isn't that bad of a buy. And guess what? 
I bought mine off eBay for just 100 bucks. Yes, I bought it used and Red probably won't support that phone anymore. But for 100 American freedoms, your alternative would be something from the Yumi DG universe. I'm talking about low performance plastic bombs. So under which circumstances should you actually consider getting a Hydrogen One? If you desire a spec out flagship with constant updates and warranty and a space zoom camera and a punch hole display, uh, don't get this one, obviously. If you're looking for a proper mid-range smartphone, which covers all your daily needs and doesn't make your parents question your financial decisions, you could get the Hydrogen One, but I would rather recommend you to check out the Samsung Galaxy A series. Those things have the best bang for the buck. Yeah, I know, big fanboy here. But if you, sir or ma'am, have 100 independence dollars in your budget and you don't want to spend it on low cost plastic garbage, then yeah, sure, get the Hydrogen One. And if you're a tech person who's looking for something truly different, without having the budget for a Galaxy Fold. If you want an absolutely interesting phone, a great conversation starter, or even something like a collectible, because Red doesn't make them anymore and there's just a small number of them out there, then I absolutely recommend getting that phone. All right, it took me like a million times to shoot this because I haven't, I haven't talked in a while. Yes, I don't talk outside my YouTube videos. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Oh look, he's looking, he's talking different now because he's not talking from a script. Maybe I should reconsider making scripts. This thing is actually pretty cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoy, I enjoyed having it. I have a different SIM card inside, so I'm just gonna keep it as my second phone, even if even this thing is actually very stupid to have as a second phone. Why? Because it's heavy. It's heavy as fuck. <laughs> but what do you think about this phone? Leave me a comment down below. I'm actually curious about what you think because opinions are different and maybe you have a different one. Maybe you freaking hate it. Maybe you're just, you, you just prefer that Huawei P Smart. And if you actually really enjoyed it, I would appreciate one of those sweet, sweet likes. And I hopefully see you in the next one. If not, you might get a miss out. Hey, how about we spend some more time together, my dude? So check out this video right here. You can also press on that video as well. And don't forget to hit my stupid face.